Sweet Jesus, this bus is on fire. Do you think it's going to explode? You found stashed. I'm Pat, firefighter, mechanical engineer, and battery guy. I can almost guarantee that videos of this will start circulating claiming it's an electric bus. But it's not. This is a CNG bus. This incident happened a few days ago, and it's a great reminder of the power of compressed natural gas. This happened in Shreveport, Louisiana on April 16, 2025. So what do we see? The bus, it's on fire. That's the obvious part, right? But look at those jets shooting out of the top of the bus. That means everything's actually working properly, at least for one or two of those tanks. Compressed natural gas tanks, they're built tough, but they still have a built-in weak point, and it's on purpose. Each one of these tanks has a pressure relief device, or PRD. That's designed to open when exposed to heat, not pressure. So if a tank is sitting in the fire, the PRD will melt or rupture, venting the gas in a controlled way to prevent an explosion. That's exactly what you're seeing here with these large jets of fire. There's one catch, though, with the PRD. Once that valve opens, it can't be shut. It's a one-and-done safety feature. That gas is going to vent until the tank empties, which is really the best-case scenario in a situation like this. It's good that that gas is on fire and you see that jet flame, because if there is no fire and that gas was being released, that's really bad. This is where some fire departments get into trouble. They start trying to cool that tank with water. The PRD, it stays cool and doesn't operate properly. Then you have a catastrophic failure. Now, in this case, it doesn't appear the fire department is on scene yet, or maybe they're just out of the frame, but ultimately they're not flowing water on this bus. So why did the bus explode? This is an Excelsior bus, and it has eight CNG tanks mounted on the roof, which is typical for a CNG setup. Going back to the fire, it looks like one of the tank's PRDs is operating properly, but it's pretty clear that the tank that exploded had a faulty valve or something failed. Something didn't work the way it was supposed to. After reviewing the video, it does appear that there may have been more than one explosion. One thing I love about the internet, there are so many views of this incident. So enjoy! Oh, my God. Boom, boom. As great as that was, a word of caution. If you see something like this, get far, far away. It's really amazing that no bystanders were injured or killed after that explosion. Quick side note, I know someone's going to bring up Blevy in the comments. It stands for Boiling Liquid Expanding Vapor Explosion. Compressed natural gas, it's not a liquid. Inside of those tanks, it's a gas, compressed right around 3600 PSI. I know, it's a technicality. But ultimately, this is not a blevy. Either way, it's still a significant explosion and still really unsafe. So with this type of hazard, what can fire departments do? You can absolutely put water on the bus, but that water has to stay far away from those tanks because you don't want a chance on cooling that PRD. In this case, especially since you've already had a tank fail, set up a hot zone and keep people far away. Maybe set up a blitz fire and keep it unstaffed, but ultimately, this bus is already lost. At this point, there's nothing to save. 